We use it mostly uh, to simulate antennas. We design terahertz antennas, which are quite hard to measure. So simulation takes a big part of our uh, overall design and, and the research process. We use uh, CST Studio Suite uh, for all of our simulations uh, uh, running from uh, low frequency to the high frequency. Uh, so it starts from uh, simple electronic sub-assembly levels, uh, like such as uh, DC-DC converters and AC to DC converters uh, to to, the, to simulating the cable harnesses along the chassis grounds to find out the emissions inside the vehicles which will help the OEMs and also the tire one suppliers like us uh, to make sure that we deliver the compatible products according to the EMCMI regulations. I think the, the, the fundamental thing today is that there are more and more uh, of our customers that are using 3D tools beyond the traditional circuit simulators and that are using that we are, after all, in a wireless world, so we're always looking at the end-to-end -end sort of solutions and the benefits that sort of 3D offer, not just from the radio propagation perspective, but from the circuit design uh, field as well and the interaction between the two, so it's, it's becoming more and more important. Well, uh, I have been a user of CST Studio Suite uh, for about six years, I suppose, because uh, I met this software, I firstly used it uh, in the university when I was, I was a student and I was preparing my, uh, uh, my master's uh, for uh, wideband antenna design. Our technology IMSC it integrates many different electrical functions into a single product. Inside a, a thin, light, 3D form plastic structure. And all these electrical functions, they are simulated before manufacturing. EM simulation plays a very significant role in IMSC design workflow. The uh, complexity of the project that I lead is based on the fact that I have uh, different components, different uh, frequency ranges and uh, um, a number of uh, um, different uh, approaches due to the fact that uh, we have to simulate both the radio frequency aspect, both the interaction of particles with the uh, radio frequency signal. So it's using all the area where uh, radio frequency is uh, uh, the main uh, topic. The most exciting part uh, when we are working with the simulations is that uh, uh, the thermal management systems, typically for the electric vehicles, uh, the battery management systems are very critical and uh, how does my electronic sub-assembly products are interacting with the batteries and the complete overflow is the most exciting part. I mean even from the simulation point of view when we get the results we get very excited because the, the, the animations in the graphs gives you a very very detailed uh, thought process of what to be done next, uh, which you may not be able to see in the measurements at all. I think mostly, again, the, the acknowledging the holistic approach you guys are taking and, and understanding that you are much more than just an EM simulation company. Mm -hmm.